Melissa. Happy Tuesday. I hope you are having a great week so far. Today I'm going to show you how to do a little trick with creating shadows with vinyl and heat transfer vinyl. So we're going to actually do this with HTV because it's um, super easy to do. And this is a question that people ask quite a bit. And then when I tell them how to do it, they're like, oh my gosh, mind blown. That is so easy. So um, typically when um, what we get asked, and it's going to be hard to like kind of conceptualize what I'm trying to explain until we get to the end and you'll see. But usually um, when people are asking is they want essentially like a shadow effect, two different color, two tone um, design. So sometimes it's a font, it's usually a font, right? A font type design. Okay, so um, what you're gonna do, and I've printed this out just so you can see how I had it set up in Silhouette Studio. So basically I typed out my words, craft vibes only, okay? I used a font, <laughs> isn't this a cute font? It's called Chris, uh, Farmhouse Christmas font. And it's actually from the So Fancy uh, Farmhouse font bundle. So there's a bunch of fonts that are all like very farmhouse looking. But anyway, I typed the font out, typed the text out with this font, and then I put a regular offset around it, okay? So you can see the black was the offset. Now we're not doing this on paper. I'm literally just showing you this so that you can see how it was originally designed, okay? So it's a standard offset, like, I, I don't know, it was like, 0.1 or something, whatever, whatever the offset was. Okay. I didn't do anything separate. So I typed it out offset. Okay. And then I just separated the two. Now the first layer, this is the bottom layer. I already have cut just for the sake of time. Okay. So I cut this on one color HTV. The second part, we are going to cut ourselves on another HTV. Okay. So when I go to put this together, obviously I have created it with this offset, but we are not going to perfectly offset it. We are going to offset the offset and you'll see what I mean as we put it together okay so I'm gonna get this ready and we are going to start cutting this so I'm gonna load the machine in right I mean load the HTV this is just smooth HTV and I'm going to I apologize I have my back to you I have everything set up on my craft table today actually so that I can get the camera real close when I go to put the HTV on so you can see all right, so now I'm just gonna send this second part and once I start cutting it, I'll turn it around so you can see um, what it's doing. I'm gonna start cutting that. So this is the part that I'm cutting now. So this is just the top layer, okay? And I did put a couple of weeding lines around there just so you guys can see, uh, just so it makes it easier to weed when the time comes for that, okay? Don't worry, I'm not using this heat press right now. So that heat press is not, hot it's not going to be a problem okay what we are going to do i have my um hot tronics the small pink craft heat press right here this is a 9 by 12 it's perfect for like if you need if like a mobile type heat press because it's just small and light and i actually keep it in a cabinet i don't use it a whole lot because i have so many heat presses um and i typically keep i typically use my eight in one because it's just um, a space saver, but this one I like because I can bring it over to this craft table to show you guys. So we're just gonna do this white chart. I've kind of, um, I've already heated the heat press up so it's ready. Yeah, it's, it's pretty warm. And I guess this shirt is a bit wrinkly, but I've started to <laughs> use my heat press to iron it, to be honest with you. I'll just do a little bit more. Um, I'm using, as you can see, sorry, you can't see me, but I'm using um, a pressing pillow here so that I can get some extra pressure, okay? And this is just a pre-press on here. I'm not actually gonna put it that far down, but I just, I wanna get some of these wrinkles out a little bit. All right. Anyway. All right, so that's go. While that's going, um, you're oh, you're gonna ask me. I know you are. What the cut settings are for HTV and how I get the HTV to cut? Okay, I use default cut settings for HTV smooth, and then I increase the force from um, the default force to a 14. Okay, that's the only change I make. So default and then increase the force number to 14. Now, where is my weeding pick? I had it. It's been a morning. So earlier, here it is. I, um, my, I was, I, you know, when I went to cut this, everything was fine and dandy. And then, um, 
all of a sudden my heat press was stopped heating up and, I, and, my, and my Cameo also was not powered on. Okay, I'll tell you the rest of the story in a second because this is pretty funny. Um, okay, so I've done a little test weed here and I can see that it has cut correctly. So now I can um, pull the rest of that out. Okay, so what you're gonna see is that I have created some weeding lines here um, and the weeding boxes. And I just use the draw box tool to make these and it just cuts the, um, it just cuts the vinyl down around into a smaller section so it's easier to weed. Okay, so back to my story. So anyway, when I was cutting, I, after I cut the first piece, all of a sudden the power went out to my heat press and my Cameo. And I was like, oh darn, I tripped the breaker. Um, so I went down outside to the box and I'm like, every single, every single, um, what are those things called? None of them were tripped. And I, I like, I like switched them all back and forth. In fact, Bob was on, um, the Peloton and, and he got mad because I switched the one in the garage apparently. And I'm like, you know, I'm, someone's trying to work here. Anyway, so I'm like, this is, I even came back upstairs. I checked, nope, the lights are on, but my two machines are not. So after about 15 minutes of trying to figure out where the GF, um, what is that thing called? The GFI, GFC, whatever it's called. Um, I just realized that the, the plug came out of the wall. Okay, so that's how, that's how my day's been going, and it, I'm not even sure that it's 9 o'clock yet. All right, so I, I still have a little bit more to weed, but I'm going to just cut this down so I can have a smaller section, okay? I didn't even bother to put a weeding box around the middle because it naturally will have a weeding box, okay? All right, so now we'll pull all this off here. Now what you're gonna see, so see how this kind of just naturally has its own weeding box around it because I cut the. All right, so. Doo -doo -doo. I could do all of this before I get on this video, but but why, why would we do that? You guys like to see when like things don't go right, and usually it's when it comes to weeding where things don't go right, right? So I'm literally just setting myself up for, for uh, an issue. But that's, that's okay. That's why we like Facebook Live. Okay, so let's get some of this stuff out of our way so we have a little bit more room to work here. I'm gonna move the Cameo. This time I'm going to intentionally unplug it. Um, now, what you normally would do is make your design, your, you know, your, you have your design, you would put that on your shirt, and then you would put this one right on here, right? Like right over top of it to make that offset. However, let me, let me pull this so it's a little bit from more direct on so you can see. Okay, so what we're gonna do to make the shadow effect, and this is why I said it's easier with HDV than it is with, with vinyl, we're gonna put it on there, but we're not gonna put it directly in the center. I'm just gonna move it off center, and it naturally creates its own shadow type of effect. Now, when it's on the shirt, you'll be able to see it a little bit easier, and you can make this as dramatic as you want, but all you're doing is not lining it up correctly. So let's say you want the shadow to be up into the top. Okay, then you just put your top, your top layer further down into the left. And now you have the shadow is kind of up and off. Do you see what I'm doing? So instead of it being exactly on, and the and the larger that the bottom off, the larger that the original offset is, the more room you have to play with this. But what you can see if I pull it up close is that, see here where, like, see on this S, there's just a little smidge in here and you've got a thicker here. So that gives it that shadow effect. Now, when I put it on my shirt, this is how I'm gonna do it. Oh, so now it's warming up. Oh, Lord, we're gonna have a little bit of time to wait because it's only on 230. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do, we will set this on the shirt first. We'll get it all set up. I like to actually set it, do it on my pressing pillow. So that way I can just move the whole pillow onto um, my heat press. This is very wrinkly. All right, now, so what we're gonna do, let me take my first layer. Now you guys know the rules, right? When you, I'm actually gonna turn the pressing pillow so it's this way, so it 
uh, fits. Okay, so when you, let's find the middle. I'm gonna show you all the tricks today since we have some time here. All right, so all the tricks, I'm gonna fold this in half with the sticky sides out. Okay, you don't want the sticky sides together. What this does is now I know where the middle of my design in is, and because this is a um, V-neck shirt and it's already, I know where the middle is here, um, I can line that line up. Now, here's a little thing I wanna tell you. If you put a design on your shirt and it's a little off, well, maybe not like that, but like, let's say it's just a little like, look, the shirt is never exact, okay? So don't be like, oh no, look, your shirt is never gonna be exactly on. So just, just go easy on yourself, okay? If it's a little off, like I, I honestly, I never get a ruler out and measure, where's this gonna go on my shirt? Because you know what? Half the time my shirt's like this, half the time it's like this, half the time, well, I don't have little kids anymore, so they're not like grabbing on it, but I just need you to know there's bigger things to worry about than if your shirt is like a little like, you know, because your shirt's not gonna be right, all right? This, that's my life advice for today. Okay, so we have this on here. Now, when you are layering vinyl, obviously HTV, I mean, you're gonna put the first layer on first. Now, the first layer can, the total, amount of time that this layer can get is like 20 seconds, okay? So if you do this for 20 seconds and then the, lay this on top and do another 20 seconds, it's gonna be too much heat for this bottom layer. So this bottom layer, you just wanna tack. And when I say tack, we wanna tack it on there for like three to five seconds, enough time that it'll stick to the shirt and you'll be able to pull the transfer off. Then you're gonna put this other one on. Now the reason that I like the HTV for practicing this method is because if you put it down and you don't like the positioning, you can just lift it back up and move it. When you're working with adhesive vinyl, you don't have that flexibility. Once it's down, it's down. Okay, all right, we're at 284, so we're, we're gonna get there. Let me, let's set up the, um, let's move this heat press so you guys can kind of see a little better. I really want you to be able to see what I'm, what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm gonna, this is a nine by 12 press, but it can still do um, shirts because especially like a small uh, women's shirt, there's plenty of room. Now I have this big heat, I have this big pressing pillow on here. So I do wanna make sure that the whole, that the actual design is on the plat bottom platen. All right, so that's all set. So now I'm gonna cover it with my Teflon sheet. This is just something that's on, this is a piece of tape that was on my vinyl was holding it together. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I have it set for 20 seconds, but we're only gonna let it go for about five, okay? All right, okay, and now that should be tacked enough on there. Pull it this way, you gotta be careful on these presses. And now that's on there, okay? So now I can go ahead and put my other layer on. Now, again, I'm gonna, I, because there's just not a lot of room right here, I'm gonna be really careful because I've burned, I've burned a few knuckles in my day. So I'm gonna move the whole thing. Again, this is why I like the, the um, using the, the pillow to move everything because I can just move the whole thing and the shirt stays in position. Okay, so I've got it here. You can see, right? Okay, now I'm gonna put this down. Now, if I was just doing like with the regular offset, I would place it right in the middle, but that's not the look I'm going for. I'm looking for something more a little off center. So I'm, there's a piece of hair. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that the whole thing, you gotta like the top, I'm looking at the C, but I also need to pay attention the whole way across. Oh my gosh, what is going on? There's a lot of, there's a lot of problems today. You don't, don't, don't let this kind of stuff just go because then you'll have a hair stuck in your design. That's gross, okay. I'm assuming it's mine because everyone else steers clear of this office. They get scared, I think. <coughs> Excuse me, okay, here we go. So you see how it's like offset now? Okay, so now I'm gonna move the whole thing, my little um, pillow back to the press. Now this is the time, again, I'm gonna make sure this whole thing is on here. This is the time where it needs to get a full, um, you know, another 15 seconds or so for both layers, okay? So <clears throat> we're gonna let it go to about two seconds left. 
and then that'll be done, all right? And while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna push this back up here so I can, <coughs> excuse me, spin back around and you guys can see. Okay, so see if I can work this. Hello again. All right, so here we go. Oh no, it's stuck. Oh my God. <laughs> if it's gonna go wrong, it's gonna go wrong for me. All right, so here I'm just gonna pull the that top. You Can you kind of see still? All right, so now we have created our shirt with a bit of a shadow, okay? So that's what I wanted you guys to see, that this is totally possible to do, and you don't even need to know any design editing tricks. It's all about just placement. So again, all I did, cut, typed out the word with that Christmas font from the So Fancy um, Farmhouse Font Bundle. Again, I linked that up top. It's 93% off for couple more days, so grab it if you're interested in that. Type that out in Silhouette Studio, and then I just put an offset around it. And then I cut the two parts of the design, the offset and the original, and then it was not until we got to the heat press, I'm squatting now, it was not until I got to the heat press that I created the shadow, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you learned a little something, including the fact that before you go check your breaker, make sure your plug is just in the wall. <laughs> Tip number one, happy Tuesday. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon.